Hey, what's up guys? It's Sammy, aka Boba Fitz, Boba Bo. And uh, today we're going to be covering some of the, well, my five least uh, favourite things about COD 4. And to be honest, I really did struggle with these because there's not really much to dislike about the game. Especially as you know, it was quite an old game, it was the first of its kind, so you can't really hate on it really for anything that it did bad because it had nothing to compare, about, uh, compare against, you know. You can blame some of the later franchise, you know, the later attempts in the franchise because they should have known because we knew so why didn't they so you know that's basically what I want to say you know I'm not hating on the game but this is just the, the five worst things that I could think of really as the gameplay um, I'm probably gonna have two two gameplays because um, I chopped off the beginning of the first one because I was in like a hack lobby um, and I thought it was just gonna I thought well, there's no point recording this but I thought I was just playing because I was having fun trying to snipe while jumping through the air like several thousand miles which I guess is actually like a sort of runner-up bonus one is that it's kind of hacked now it's not really that bad if you compare it to World at War and it wasn't hacked at the time that I know of so I'm not really gonna hold that against it because I'm gonna sort of judge it on when it first came out so if you go and play it nowadays don't be surprised if uh, it is hacked and to be honest with you, if it is hacked in this game it's not so bad because it doesn't seem to have um, you know immunity to bullets and stuff which I have in World of War and that really does ruin the game a lot. The other gameplay is just from a game I joined in session and it was really I wasn't going to win it just because um, you know someone had already gotten so far lead but I went 12 and 1 in quite a short space of time so I thought it was pretty cool so I thought I'd tag it on anyway. But anyway I digress. So the first one I'm going to mention is uh, Stopping Power and Juggernaut. Basically um, these perks were so good that there was little point in actually using any other perk and it's kind of although in the last video I said that the created class system was pretty awesome and that it gave you this great flexibility to do whatever you want but um, the problem was that stopping power was so good that you know there was little reason to use anything else some people did use juggernaut but the two basically cancelled each other out and kind of made it null and void so it was kind of a little bit pointless really um, you could use other things that's why I actually played a lot of hardcore at the time where stopping power wasn't really that useful because uh, the bullet damage was so high already it really didn't make much of a difference so uh, stuff like cold blooded became really popular in hardcore but there was reason to use the other perks you know so um, that was my one of my main gripes it's not really a massive gripe to be honest the next one uh, would be frag times three uh, kind of a bit annoying when uh, you're trying to cap a flag especially because the explosive damage in this game is actually quite high but people could just load up on frag times three and as soon as you're trying to cap a point in domination whoosh, you just hear them like three different uh, you know, three grenades come landing near you and one of them is going to get you and uh, if you play on uh, I can't remember the name of the level it was like a, it was like a launch launching area and there was all like missiles coming out of this you, you probably know it if you've played the game but you could just throw grenades around there and you just get kills all the time. So that was a little bit annoying, the frag times three. Um, but nothing compared to Modern Warfare 2's um, explosions. As I said, I am kind of stretching it when I try to complain about these. Next one I generally did find really annoying. Uh, that was, I'm going to combine these two together. That was Martyrdom and Last Stand. You may not have had too much of a problem if you played on core. Um, but basically it's kind of unfair that you, sh especially if someone's using Juggernaut as well, you fire all these shots in them, then they go down into the last stand and you've got that um, you know, that immunity you have for a little while with last stand. Or they, they drop a grenade. Uh, kind of had a, like, a, a lot of people use the martyrdom and they still use it nowadays and I kind of think, it's, it's, I thought steady aim is a lot better but then I guess it's kind of, a, I find it kind of stupid to base your whole basis on doing well of when you die your grenade will get a kill. I don't know, but you know, some some people used it, and especially on hardcore, it was extra annoying because martyrdom would kill your teammates. So if you were playing corn and you went to play with your mates and playing hardcore, and you forgot to turn off martyrdom, you just annihilate everyone on your team by taking them out. And then the last stand problem was the fact that usually it takes one bullet to kill on hardcore. Um, so you shoot someone in the last, you shoot them on the floor, and they're like immune for like half a second or something. I'm not sure how much it is. Uh, from bullet damage while they fall in the last stand and then they, they literally at your feet and they take you out so that was really annoying but that's been uh, you know in every game the last time has been in uh, it's been really annoying so the next one I got number four would be that shotguns were pretty rubbish in this game there was only two to choose from and they were pretty similar um, 
And like as I said in the uh, the previous, uh, you know, the the good five things about it is that sniping worked really well. But the problem with this is that shotguns didn't work really well, and it was mainly due to do with the fact that the maps were kind of big, which isn't a good thing. Like I said, for snipers it worked really well, but with shotguns it didn't. And also they weren't very powerful, and um, like the stuff they had in Black Ops too, like where you aim down sight, I think it was in Black Ops as well, where you aim down sight it was sort of tighten up the zoom, uh, sorry, tighten up the spread, uh, that, none of that was in there. You could use steady aim as well, uh, to, to make the spread a little bit less, but they were just, they just weren't that fun to use to be honest. Um, you know, I really didn't enjoy using them that much, so that's another grab I had with it. And the final one, which again, as I've said, I can't. You can't really have a go at them for this because it is it was no game. But the fact that they had there was no host migration, so you could you could have got away with it back then because you didn't end up playing against so many rage quitting babies to be honest. Because nowadays you play with someone and you start killing them, they'll just leave. That's all that happens nowadays. You know what I mean? But um, back in the day, if someone quit out of a game, the host left. Um, that was it. The game was over. It would just say host my post end of the game and that was it basically you know you had to wait for a new game so that's my fifth and final grunt but as I said guys you know it's um it was a lot of fun this game and um, I'm really not trying to put any hate on it so don't be like oh my god COD 4 was the best ever I think it was a good game I personally don't think it was the best card I've ever played but I really think it was a good game and f just the impact that it had on you know all the other games after it, it really, really was the blueprint of uh, Call of Duty so um, you know much love to it for that oh, I love this game man so uh, anyway guys uh, make sure you uh, post your suggestions or what you think absolutely sucked in Card 4 or whether or not you disagree with what I said like for example with the stopping power and the juggernaut some people actually liked uh, the fact that it was so useful it used it because if you want to use assassin you'd have to sacrifice the bullet damage or you know the extra protection in order to stay off the radar so there's uh, arguments for and against it but personally I just really just didn't like the idea of it because it was just so good that there was no reason to use anything else but uh, yeah I'm gonna, on the annotation at the end there'll be a, a, a link to the playlist of this because I'm going to be going through every Call of Duty uh, from Card 4 to Black Ops 2 talking about the 5 best and the 5 worst things that I personally had with the games so be sure to click on them if you're interested. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.